All right, response video to the Modern Mystic. Probably a better idea to watch the whole video first and then just see if I talk about the thing or something else and give you bigger context and all that. Um, you know, reacting to the first two minutes and, you know, probably not a great idea, but whatever. Uh, we're probably going to have to discuss cash more, and so, okay, we're going to discuss it more. Um, there's always a standard for pricing, let's say, right? To price anything, to have a relative scale, you have to have a unit. Uh, uh, so, cash is the unit. Whether you like it or not, well, that's, you know, that's debatable. I'm just saying it is the unit. So, there's its distinction right there. Everything else is denominated in cash units. So, all other... All other money is a claim on cash. So by default, you could say cash is first-tier money and everything else is second-tier money. And it just is. Um, now, I can talk about how cash has great credibility in the sense that there's only $1.2 trillion. It's completely controllable in terms of its supply. It's completely limitable. It has lots of advantages as, as money. It's been counterfeit protected. It has a ton of it has serial numbers on it. It's it's got a lot of advantages, a lot of integrity as a standard. And and there's always anything's going to be the standard, right? You don't have like gold makes cash a standard or this the, the, you know it's stupid. There's a standard, it, the, and being the standard makes you the standard. Okay, so it's just cash is the standard. So it's stupid to pretend it's not the standard. It's the standard. Um, so it's, there's no point in making comparisons because it's over, it's a general, okay? Whether you don't think it should be the general, it's the general, okay? It's got the award. It's got the badge. It's got the stuff. It's the general. And you can't undo its status um, because you don't, you don't like it. It is, has the status. Um, so, um, so again, all non-paper money, all credit, is denominated in cash dollars. So that's a huge distinction. That's, that's a claim right there of distinction. You should be able to tell the difference between the thing everything's denominated in and the stuff that's denominated. It's like, this is the stuff and everything else is pseudo stuff. Okay? Cash, you could call cash pseudo stuff, like like stuff, like valuable stuff, gold, diamonds. Um, they're not really a good example, but food, water, that stuff, it has value. Cash is pseudo stuff, and then this other stuff is pseudo cash, and that's the hierarchy. Um, I think it's the only rational way to look at this. Um, all the other papers a claim on cash. It just is. <laughs> yeah. All that other stuff is only as good first as the cash is good. If cash breaks, all the other money breaks in terms of its value. So if cash inflates, the check deflates, then, then the check deflates in value because of inflation. Um, the cash written on, the check written on cash. So everything is dependent on the integrity of the cash. So it's a huge distinction. The, the check, the bank check, if, if the bank all of a sudden decides to only pay 50% on, on, on a dollar, uh, that's not going to change the value of cash any. Um, yeah, and, and so the other stuff has the, cash has the, the, the one insurer, the first insurer, and then the, all the other digits have a second insurer. So they're not only dependent on the first insurer of cash, cash has value, they're dependent on a second issuer who's also got to be have some sort of insurability credibility. Like they're insuring the, um, the fact that this is worth what it says on it in terms of the cash. So, again, I, I sure really shouldn't have to explain how if the federal government went bankrupt or something, Okay, the cash holders would be the first in line for getting reimbursed. And there's clearly, okay, $1.2 trillion worth of assets under the control of the United States government. 
I mean, we could just go by water rights alone, the land they own that has water on it, or we could go by the land they own that has gold on it, or the land they own that has oil on it. Um, and then we can get into national parks, and we can get into M1 tanks, and, you know, they got a ton of stuff. So there's no doubt about the credibility of cash. And, and so, because people have made all this pseudo-money, you want to say because other people made pseudo-money, that banks issued pseudo-money, that all of a sudden cash sucks. Somehow it's cash's fault that banks made pseudo-money. Or that it's cash's fault that the federal government issued bonds. Uh, cash is, is perfectly good money. I'm sorry, it's perfectly good money. You don't like it because it's green? What, what the hell don't you like about cash? Why do you think cash is bad? Hmm? Okay? Explain it to me. Because I don't get it. I don't understand this fucking cash bigotry. <laughs> I just don't. I've, I've been friends with it my whole life, okay? And it's never done me any harm. Um, you know, I, I, I mean, again, and it's not because we made too much cash that other stuff inflated in value. Other stuff inflated in value because we made too many fucking rich people. Okay? Cash I like. Rich people I don't like. I think that's rational. Okay? Your love of rich people and hatred of cash, I think that's irrational. Rich people make my stuff more expensive because they outbid me for it. You can't... Oh, okay, now I'm being patronizing. I'm, I'm getting angry because it's almost silly to have to argue why cash is different. I mean, it is. I mean, it's just so fundamental. It's so rudimentary in terms of the fact that everything else has got the damn dollar sign on it. I mean, doesn't that tell you right there that cash is different? That everything else mentions cash? <laughs> you know, everything else is I, it's got cash written on it? It mentions cash? I mean, if, if my name was written on every single thing okay, that was walking around, that that would make me kind of different than everybody else, right? I, sh I shouldn't have to explain why it's different. Why, why that means something. It means something because it's, its name is written on everything. Okay. Um, yeah, I wrote a little thingy, a little cliche. Some claims on cash are as useless as some claims made about cash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but there's nothing wrong with cash. Uh, fundamentally solid. Um, there's a lot wrong with deficit spending. There's a lot wrong with usury as, as, uh, as, as a, as a, as a, as a instrument of uh, uh, economic investment. To, to oblige people to pay usury to the rich mob. Um, there's a lot wrong with how we st have structured our economy, but cash is not what's wrong. If we can't agree, I mean, I don't know what to say. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, I just don't understand you people. Um, cash is clearly distinct, clearly different. It is. And all this other stuff, like I said, a bond, a U.S. Treasury, is not cash. It's a U.S. Treasury. It's a claim on cash. Again. I, <clears throat> it's not cash's fault that bad things in the world have cash written on it. Okay? Cash didn't say to do that. So quit blaming the cash. Yeah, that's a good thing to say. I'm just saying that cash s fulfills every necessary... Every necessary... Like, if you're going to describe what a general should be, cash fulfills every one of the standards. It, it has all these good things. It's controllable. It's secure. It's guaranteed. It's, it's easily transferred. It's, it's got, you know... Forbes made arguments about termites. 
Termites are the problem with cash. Oh, cash is dangerous because termites might eat it. It's got serial numbers on it. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I mean, especially now, we would really not, should not have to worry about termites. You could put insecticide, pellets inside the cash if we need to. I mean, this is, I mean, you can't concede that that's kind of a silly argument. Oh, yeah, let's go to heavy gold coins, um, you know, um, you know, that'll be a bitch to mint in, in some sort of non-counterfeitable way. Um, because what? Sometimes termites eat your money. <laughs> Leave it to a libertarian to make that kind of argument, right? Termites. Let's build the economy based on termites. Sorry. <clears throat> I intended just to go through this, but I mean, you know, as I'm doing it, I'm just saying, why is this? I mean, if this is what we're going to hang on, something as, I mean, not even close to being a criminal, there's nothing hoodlum about cash. Cash has, cash isn't wearing a hoodie. Cash ain't eating no sparkles or shrinkies or dinky binkies. Cash isn't doing one single goddamn thing wrong as it's walking down the street. And I don't know why you fuckers want to shoot it. It hasn't threatened anybody, it hasn't done anything to anybody, it hasn't raped anybody, it hasn't fucked anybody, it hasn't done anything goddamn wrong, and you fuckers are just sitting there beating the shit out of it. For what reason? Why? Why are you such a cash bigot? Okay. Till next time.